Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Naomi and I have a pretty big announcement for you guys today. My husband Andras and I just bought our very first house and we are getting the keys at the end of May, which is pretty soon. So I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to sit down and talk about some of the things that I've learned um, decorating a rental. So currently we are renting this apartment that we're living in right now. And we've been here for almost a year now. And actually this was the first time that I've lived on my own. I had so much fun decorating this place over the past year and I feel like I've learned a lot in the process and I'm here today to share some of that wisdom with you guys. A whole one year's worth of wisdom. So let's get right into it. So the first one is kind of obvious, paint your walls or apply a wallpaper. Painting can go so far in transforming your space. Painting like trims on windows, painting walls. Just take a look at some of these spaces. The color choices are so intentional and I love this trend of painting the baseboards the same color as the wall for a little monochrome moment. When we first moved into our apartment, all of the accent walls were all this like really boring corporate blue color. I don't know how else to describe it. The rest of the walls were really beautiful. This really light beige color, which I was a huge fan of. So the first thing I did was paint all of the accent walls this um, darker beige color, which kind of complements the rest of the walls a lot more. You might not even have to paint your walls back to the color that they used to be when you move out if your landlord is a fan of the color that you decided to select. So another great thing is stick on wallpaper. You can get wallpaper that is really easy to apply and also really easy to remove from drywall. Um, but make sure you get the kind that is actually easy to remove because there's certain types of wallpaper that are a lot more difficult to take off. The good thing about wallpaper is that it can make your place feel so custom and personalized. You can go really adventurous with it and it's pretty low commitment. So if you don't like it like one month in, it's pretty easy to remove from your walls. And I've actually seen some people do wallpaper on the ceiling too, which you think it would not look the best, but I've seen it done very, very well. So the second item on the list is changing your lighting or light fixtures. Don't underestimate how far lighting and light fixtures can go. And this one is super easy for rentals because all you do is just take down the current light fixtures, store them away somewhere, and when you're ready to move out, you can just bring those back out and then reinstall them. But listen, we need to have an important conversation. I know you have a boob light somewhere in your house. Oh my God, what is that? Oh my God, what is that? No, God, please, no, 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 no! It's 2021, we should be past this as a society. But in all seriousness, you can get really stylish and sexy ceiling lights to replace those ugly boob lights. One of the best places to shop for affordable light fixtures is Ikea. Traditionally, they've been very contemporary style, very modern and sleek. But in the recent years, they've expanded a lot of their collections. I've seen some really beautiful bamboo and rattan light fixtures from Ikea, and they're all under $100, which is amazing. Structube actually has some really affordable lighting as well, kind of on the same price range as Ikea. Beauclair is also another great option. I think Beauclair only exists in Canada. The light fixture above our dining table is actually from Beauclair as well, and I'm thoroughly in love with it. Wayfair is another great option. Wayfair has some good prices if you do a little bit of digging, and Amazon has some good options for light fixtures as well, If again, if you do a little bit of digging. Another really easy and renter-friendly lighting option is plug-in sconces. These are super easy to install if you want the look of a sconce, but obviously if you're in a rental, you can't tear down the wall walls and start redoing electrical. And you can strategically place them in areas where you can hide most of the wiring. For example, if you decided to put these plug-in sconces above your nightstands next to your bed. So moving on to the next tip, this is also about lighting and it's to put all of your lighting on dimmer switches. This one's really easy to do. All you need to buy is dimmer switches and replace the switch panel and just wire it up. Having dimmable lighting just feels so luxurious and can really change up the mood in a room. You can also buy these awesome things called smart lights or smart light switches, which allows you to control your lights from your phone. So we actually have this in our apartment. We have the Philips Hue smart light bulbs in our kitchen and our master bedroom. And then we have the Philips dimmer switch in the dining room and in the office. And I love this because how many times do you like get into bed or something and you realize that you left a light on in the other room? It's so much better to just be able to 
shut it off from your phone. Okay, so my next tip is to install drapes. If you have those builder grade vertical blinds or some other sort of ugly blinds, you can easily cover them up with some beautiful drapery. I think the only thing worse than a boob light is vertical blinds. So maybe ask your landlord if you can take the blinds down entirely and then just install the drapery that you want. It's worth it to just ask because maybe they say yes, but if you do end up taking your blinds down, make sure you know how to reinstall it because I know some blinds can be kind of tricky to reinstall. But drapes can make a space feel so elegant and sexy and cozy. So my next tip is about area rugs. Now if you have flooring in your apartment or rental that you're not a huge fan of, it's really easy to cover that up with a beautiful area rug. This works best if you have some sort of hard floor like hardwood or tile or something. It doesn't work out that well if you have carpet, especially if you have really thick carpet. Putting a rug on top of that, it's not fun to walk on. It's It wobbles around in a weird way. So it could work if you have carpet that has a very low pile and is super thin. I've seen people do rugs on top of that and it's completely fine to walk on. But yeah, I just wouldn't recommend rugs for a super thick carpet. Okay, so moving on to tip number six, and this is to change the hardware either on your kitchen cabinets or your bathroom cabinets. Changing out kitchen or washroom hardware is relatively affordable and there are so many options out there. You can shop on Etsy, you can shop on any of the big box stores. I know Ikea has some leather drawer pulls that are really cool. I bought some drawer pulls for a dresser that I have from Etsy and the front just looks like natural stone. It's so pretty. I've also seen some that are like rattan or knit um, and has like sort of like a bamboo look. So this small touch can definitely go a long way. So tip number seven is about storage. So a lot of rentals can be on the more cozy side so you have to be smarter about storage. So try to think about furniture pieces that have multiple uses. I mean everyone knows you can get some really pretty benches that have storage compartments and you can also get some really nice bed frames that have drawers under them. Another thing that you can do is get a TV stand that has drawers or cabinetry on it. And for the kitchen, if you have some space in the center of your kitchen, um, not enough room for a full-fledged island, you can get a movable island as well. Maybe it's something you don't keep in the kitchen all the time, but it could be something that you just pull out occasionally when you need some extra counter space. There are so many options for really gorgeous movable islands. I know Ikea has loads. Crate and Barrel has some of my favorites. So another thing I've noticed is a lot of people forget to use the vertical space that they have inside of either cabinets that don't have shelving or closets. For example, under a washroom vanity or even underneath a kitchen sink, typically there isn't shelving there, but there is a lot of wasted vertical space. So I would say definitely get some sort of storage for inside of those cabinets. I know Amazon, Ikea, Walmart, Target, all of those places have so many options for storage inside of cupboards like that. So tip number eight, the very last tip I have for you guys is about outdoor decor. If you have a balcony or patio situation, most likely it's a concrete balcony or maybe it's a wooden deck. You can easily make this space so much more cozy by adding an outdoor area rug. There are so many affordable and beautiful options for outdoor area rugs. Ikea has plenty, of course. Amazon also has a bunch of really good ones. Wayfair has a million options. Also another thing to think about is some sort of temporary flooring, especially if your patio is concrete. Ikea has these amazing and super easy to install outdoor decking. They have them in a few different colors and they also have these faux grass tiles as well. And basically all you have to do is get enough of these tiles to cover your patio space and they simply just snap together and you're good to go. And this is such a great option because it warms up the space so much and it's super easy to uninstall when you are ready to move out of your apartment. And of course there's a million different options for outdoor furniture as well. You can get sectionals or sofas that are a little less bulky and kind of meant for a smaller outdoor space. So if you don't have enough space on your balcony or patio to put a sectional or a sofa, you can always go with a cute little table table and chair set, which I think is super romantic. You can really make your space feel like you're in a Parisian cafe or you're in Italy or something. And definitely if you have a balcony, get those little flower baskets that you hang over the edge. Those are so cute and so romantic and you can add so much color to your space as well if you plant a few flowers in there. And get some greenery overall. Plants always make a space better. And if you get a lot of sun exposure on your patio or balcony, you can get these outdoor umbrellas that are meant to go up against a flat wall. 
wall, or you can get these rollout shades that are either installed against the wall or they stand on their own legs. And these are great options if you have a really small balcony. So that's all I have for you guys today. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed today's video. Leave any suggestions for videos that you guys wanna see in the future in the comments. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one and I hope to see you back here next week. Bye guys.